Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I hope you are studying well with just 30 days left for the NEET PG 2023. But with this news of postponement, the Twitter trends, the protests and the court cases, I know many of you are disturbed and uh, distracted as well. So I wanted to talk about this. I know this creates a lot of anxiety and the reason I wanted to address this because I have myself been through all of this and uh, uh, since I was uh, from the COVID-19 batch and I know how such news are disturbing and distracting. Imagine our exams which were supposed to be held in January 2021 finally took place in September 2021, a delay of around 9 months and to be honest no one likes postponement and whether the exams need to be postponed or not that is again a different uh, debate altogether and we'll not be talking about that in this video and the purpose of this video is to talk about how to stay focused and uh, how to stay on track amidst all of this i'll be sharing something which helped me to stay focused amidst all such delays and postponement news it's nothing but a simple mindset change uh, i came across this picture when uh, our exams got cancelled just two days before the exam date and we were all clueless regarding uh, what's happening and uh, how to go about it. But this theory changed my mindset and perspective towards the situation and it helped me uh, stay focused uh, and on track amidst all of those uncertainties. And the theory which I came across was uh, the circle of concern versus the circle of control. And believe me guys, this is a very important uh, mindset change which will also help you uh, in staying focused. So uh, first let us discuss what it is. So there is one circle of concern and one that is circle of control. So circle of concern comprises of everything which is a time waster. Uh, it will be comprising of all the news, all the political views of others, uh, all the uh, what other people thinks about you, the economy, the war, the weapons, everything which is happening all around you. Uh, and the circle of control is something where uh, it will come your attitude, your enthusiasm, what you are reading, where you live, uh, how you're working, uh, what skills you learned, then uh, articles, books that you're writing, etc. So why I'm discussing is this because you should be very clear what your circle of concern is and what your circle of control is. Uh, in your case, the circle of concern are all the news, the protests, the court cases, the delays, the telegram group messages which is circulating regarding the postponements and uh, a reactive student will react to such news and will just waste time over whatsapp or over telegrams or talking to your friends regarding whether the exams will be postponed or not but a proactive person will not be focusing on the circle of concern i want you all to become a proactive person here where you will be focusing on the circle of control in your situation the circle of control would be your timetable your energy your attitude how many hours you're studying the revisions the gts the mcqs you're solving what you're eating, how much you're sleeping, everything. So these are things which you can control. But regarding the news, the protests, whether the exams are getting delayed or not, you cannot control. These are uh, circle of concern. So I want you to have a mindset change here where you will be focusing more on the circle of control, which is in your control. And if you focus on what is controllable, you'll uh, save a lot of energy and time and take this situation as if the exam gets postponed, that's good enough. You get time to study and uh, you get some more time to revise. But if the exams are not getting postponed and it's happening on 5th of March, say to yourself that bring it on, I am ready. I'm going to give the exams. I'm going to ace it well. I'm going to give my best. So guys, this is what I wanted to talk about it, the two circles. Uh, and this helped me a lot to change my mindset. And I started focusing on what was in my hand and not what news are coming, whether the exams are getting postponed, what the telegram groups are talking, what the Twitter trends are running. So I hope uh, you can uh, have a change in your mindset and uh, uh, have a change in perspective and you get back to your books, you become more focused regarding what is in your hand and regarding your own timetable and what is remaining and uh, I hope you are revising well and also if you are not aware of the medicine PYQ topic series which I am posting, you can benefit from the videos, the link you will find in the description below or you can also find in the i button which I will link it up. I hope you keep revising, stay positive, less anxious and stay relaxed. So with this I wish you all the best, see you in the next one, cheers.